And first of all, her state is last when it comes to folks getting vaccinated. Uh, they were so adamant when it came to a mask mandate. These idiots in Arizona, excuse me, in Alabama, voted for Donald Trump. Uh, they followed his stupidity, his refusal to put a mask on. He himself got COVID. Now we know, based upon a couple of books that have come out, Donald Trump was close to dying as a result. And if it wasn't for them throwing everything, using every life-saving measure, he would be dead due to COVID. Uh, and here is Kay Ivey saying enough is enough. Let's be clear about this issue. And maybe I want you to start reporting the facts. The new cases in COVID are because of unvaccinated folks. Almost 100% of the new hospitalizations are with unvaccinated folks. And the deaths are certainly occurring with unvaccinated folks. These folks are choosing a horrible lifestyle of self-inflicted pain. You know, we've got to get folks to take the shot. The vaccine is the greatest weapon we have to fight COVID. There's no question about that. The data proves it. I've taken the shot back in December, both shots. And it's just the thing to do. So the unvaccinated is who we need to focus on. Y'all get them to start taking the shot. It's their job to take care of themselves and us as well. We can't do that for them. All we can do is everybody take the shot themselves. So encourage others to do likewise. I guess one quick question to follow up on that. What would it take for you to implement a mask mandate? If I want folks to get vaccinated. That's the cure. That prevents everything. Why we want to mess around with just temporary stuff? We don't need to encourage people to just go halfway with curing this disease. Let's get it done. And we know what it takes to get it done. Let's get a shot in your arm. And so I've done it. And this is safe. It's effective. It's The data proves that it works. It doesn't cost you anything. It saves lives. Well, Governor, and that's... students who are too young to be vaccinated and are returning to school in a few weeks, are you recommending for them to wear masks in class? That's left up to every school in the district to make that decision. All right, we've got time for one final question. Right? Governor, you talk about, you know, the vaccine saving lives, but Alabama still is last in the country when it comes to vaccination rates. Besides, you know, this emotional plea you just gave us, what is it going to take to get people to get shots in arms? I don't know. You tell me. Folks are supposed to have common sense. But it's time for, to start blaming the unvaccinated folks, not the regular folks. It's the unvaccinated folks that are letting us down. Well, Tyson, if she had talked that tough a year ago and that frank a year ago, probably Alabama wouldn't be in the position. That's, that was exactly my thought. I, I really would have appreciated hearing some of this a year ago and early in the vaccine rollout campaign. Um, so I was with her up until the point where she talked about what to do about it right now, because vaccines are effective. They are very effective at preventing severe COVID-19 but you cannot vaccinate your, yourself out of a surge. That's because the vaccines work very well, but they train your immune system to work. And that takes up to four weeks for, for, for the Johnson & Johnson, and it can take even longer for the mRNA vaccines. Uh, so you are not going to shut down a surge in your state with vaccinations alone. Eventually it'll work, but people will die. Uh, so what you have to do are public health mitigation measures. These are mass mandates at the minimum, and then think about capacity constraints in businesses and establishments and things like that to really break the train of transmission because the people who are infected today are infecting the people of tomorrow right now. So you have to do something right now. So vaccination is certainly a part of it, but right now they need to think about what to do about take, breaking the train of transmission right now. And I think um, you know the, the message fell off for me right right at that point. Folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Racial injustice is a scourge on this nation and the black community has felt it for generations. We have an obligation to do something about it. Whether it's canceling student debt, increasing the minimum wage, or investing in black owned businesses, the black community deserves so much better. I'm Nina Turner and I'm running for Congress to do something about it.